Beavers, how are you? Now it's time for a story. Yes? Are you ready? What do you have to do when you listen to a story? You have to have big, big elephant ears. Big, big, big owl eyes. And ah, that's a bit too loud. The story that I'm going to read today is called Where the Wild Things Are. And it's written by Maurice Sendak. Are you ready? So let's start. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him, Wild thing! And Max said, I'll eat you up! So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew. Until his ceiling hung with vines. And the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks. And almost over a year. To where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are. They roared the terrible roars. And gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes. And showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still. And tamed them. With the magic trick of a stirring into all their yellow eyes. without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And they start dancing, jumping and shouting and hanging on the trees. They turned crazy. A wild, wild party. Now stop, Max said. And send the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely. And wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried. Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared at terrible roars. And gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes. 
and showed their terrible claws. Pup Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot. That was the end of the story. Did you like it? I hope so. And to prepare an activity related to the story I told you, you are going to draw an imaginary monster. So you have to think of a monster you would like to find out. For example, it can be a monster that has three eyes, two noses, five ears, and for example, three mouths. Can you imagine? Or ten hands and one leg. And it can be furry and it can have words or spikes or whatever. Just use your imagination to draw how would it be your favorite, favorite monster. Okay? See you soon, guys. Bye.